Tonight is the night after Halloween. I write this now so that I will have a while before he rises again. Why, you may ask, do I write, on the internet of all places, the key to my enemy's prison? It's to keep him locked away. I'm bound by certain rules, and I must obey them even unconsciously. It must be possible for him to escape. I cannot, however much I want to, make escape beyond his means. So I'm creating my own loophole, so that I will at least know how he escapes. There are a few things you need. A mirror, a full length if possible. Something made of silver. Something broken unnaturally, would split against the grain, or a mineral broken not along cleavage planes. A prime number of candles, seven is ideal. A blue rose, usually this is a deal breaker, but luckily for you it's only symbolic, so you can simply dye a white rose. Yes, I did go out of my way to make sure the timing of the ritual is difficult. It must be started at exactly midnight on the day before Halloween, and the moon must be new. Set up the mirror and make sure the surface is perfectly flawless. No cracks, no smudges. I suggest you Windex it. Now place the blue rose and the broken object on the ground about a foot in front of the mirror, and let your candles in a row at the base of the mirror. These will serve as a barrier, so, if you wish, you can simply speak with him and send him away. If at any time you wish to do this, tell him, I never break a promise. These are the last words I said to him, and now they bind him. Stand behind the blue rose and kneel before the mirror. Call his name loudly. He is vain, and will most likely respond faster if you call him Lord, or <laughs> even better, King. No, I will not write his name. I will only tell you that he shares a name with the mother of the god of wine. Easy hint, especially with the power of Google, I know, but names are... powerful. Even for me to type it, no. I won't even think of it. Another thing, do not bring up his feminine name, but we cannot physically harm you. He has methods, even when he's imprisoned. He will appear... It is of little matter where you are, who you are. He will not pass up a chance to escape. If you wish not to talk to him, but to free him, stay kneeling and say, I will be your servant master, if you will have me. Above all, do not look up, even as he speaks. He will ask you what you expect in return. Money? <laughs> there will be no need for it. Power? You will answer only to him. Men? Women? By the thousand. Just one. Your lifelong crush. All yours. Just tell him, and he'll tell you what he wants from you. This is your last chance to back out. Say no. To send him away and pretend it all never happened. But, if you are determined, you may now look at him. Tell him, as you desire, his name. Master. His appearance fluctuates, but out of vanity, he will always be attractive, and most likely blonde. All the times I saw and fought him, he also had large, pointed alpha shoes. Too late to back out if you've reached this point. Whatever you have made of silver, use it now to break the mirror, blow out the candles, and he will be free. Please, if you are human, if you have any hint of heart or soul, do not do this. He'll kill everyone you love, everyone you know, and everyone in your world. And it won't just be him. He'll expect you to kill as well. He'll force you to remove their souls from their bodies so he can put it in something else. Everyone will be re replaced by creatures of evil and decay when your earth is conquered. It still won't be the end. There are greater worlds beyond yours, which he will set his sights on. I do not mean to sound self-centered, but I'll suffer most of all. See, everyone else will just die. He may be tortured first, but death is the end result for him. But he has something special for me. You and I, 
We will be forced to see him destroy everything we hold dear. But you'll be the second most powerful creature in the universe. Tell me, is it worth it? I do not believe that this is how it will end. I hope I... We will be able to imprison him again, and you with him. But if you do this, and you succeed, and he wins, I swear by God, creation, and all the guardians that you and I will die together while I am killing him. Whether you are aiding me, or trying to stop me, and then... We will all face judgment.